Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm doing a demo of a portable amplifier. If you know, want to know why I chose this one, because I bought this myself, uh, you can go to my Facebook page and see what I thought of the other portable amplifiers. Um, yeah, well, the one I'm demoing today is the Roland Microcube. It's probably one of the most sold guitar amplifiers in the world. Um, but still, um, okay, I got the red one. It's available in white and black too. Uh, yeah, so what is it? Uh, it's a very small portable, as I said, uh, amplifier that runs on either AC or DC. You can run it with, uh, what is it? Six AA batteries. And they are supposed to last forever. Uh, I think they market it is as if they would last in 20 hours. I'm not sure that really happens. But well, you can give it a try if you want to. I haven't. Um, yeah. Uh, it features a solid power section of 2 watts. Uh, and um, well, they are rather loud ones and going into a five inch speaker this is a small package but it to me it sounds uh, surprisingly good and as i said i chose i've tried several different different portable amplifiers and actually chose this because of its sound um yeah it features uh, several different guitar models it's um well, it's based on the Roland Boss uh, Cosm uh, guitar amplifier models. Um, so I will demo them all, uh, or at least I will. Yeah, I will demo them. And they are even more. There is an acoustic uh, option that's supposed to be a flat one that's not uh, using anything, and a mic that's also supposed to be flat. And you have a tuning <laughs> fork. Uh, it doesn't come with a tuner. You have a tuning fork. So if you hit this button, you get a A note. Um, it's better than nothing, but it's very close to nothing, if you ask me. Uh, you have no other equalization than uh, one tone knob, but that um, seems to affect a brighter range it's not just like the high end like a tone knob on a guitar it's yeah it affects the sound so just tweak it around see what you find i will do my demos with it at 12 o'clock um yeah they specs uh, basically it uh, they, it has um, of course uh, headphone output and uh, auxiliary input so you can use well, whatever you want into it, like a microphone or anything else. Okay, so let's do some demos of it then. Um, okay, I will just do, as I said, I will only do the guitar uh, amplifier models. So, okay, here we start with uh, the first, that is JC Clean, and I suppose that's supposed to be a, a jazz chorus from uh, Roland, which is a solid state completely clean uh, amplifier no distortion at all and um, okay so here we go And then I thought I'd show you some of the effects. Uh, we'll start with uh, a bit of chorus.
and then uh, a little more chorus. And then uh, some flanger. And a little more flanger. Then the phaser. And a little more of that effect. And finally, tremolo. And a little bit, bit more of the tremolo effect. Okay, let's turn that effect section down uh, and turn it off because uh, you have a separate section for delay and reverb. So I will show you that now and uh, here's uh, the delay and yeah, it has a range. So that basically affects the, um, the time of the delay. So here it is in the middle, a short, shorter delay. Okay, let's turn it up and go for a longer delay. OK, 
okay that was the delay then we try the reverb and we go for yeah somewhere in the middle And then add a little bit more to see how strong the effect is. Okay, let's turn all the effects off and let's go through uh, the rest of the amp models. Next up is a black panel and that's supposed to mimic a clean tube amp, a fender amp. Um, so here it is. <laughs> Next up we have a Brit combo and that is, I suppose, is supposed to be a, a Vox uh, combo amp. And that's, uh, yeah, it's breaking up a bit. So um, yeah, here it is. <laughs> Next up we come to a section they call stack and there are two versions of that and one is classic which I suppose is the mimics uh, um, uh, English classic Marshall amplifiers. So here we have the classic stack. <laughs> Next in the stacks, we have the R fire, um, not fire as in F I R E, it's F I E R. So it's uh, of course modeling the dual uh, rectifier from Mesa Boogie. So here you have that. <laughs> And then we try that one with effects as well. So here it is with chorus. Mm -hmm. 
And here it is with flanger. With phaser. And tremolo. And then we turn that off and turn on the delay. And the reverb. Okay, that's basically it. I think I've covered everything. Uh, the gain was at, uh, hmm, what should we call that? It's like two o'clock, uh, just to see how they differ in grain, gain structure. Nothing is on 10 and nothing is on zero. It's on, yeah, a bit over half. So you can see that some are made to distort and some aren't. Okay, I hope you found this useful. Um, the Roland Microcube, that's my demo of it. I've been the Swedish guitar nerd. See you soon. <laughs>